Usual CPM rates for me are like around $12 per 1,000 monetized views. Some people have much higher rates. I think I saw this one channel that had like $50 per 1,000 monetized views, and I was like, holy. 50? The highest CPM I have is like on my DD channel, which is like $15 per 1,000 views. Per 1,000 monetized views. Um, luckily, most people don't use ad blocker, so you get lots of monetized views. Mr. Beast would be making peas. Yeah, and some channels just like have higher ad rates because the ads are more valuable for them than others. Generally, gaming channels don't have super valuable ad rates. And I can see that for myself because like my D&D channel has higher ad rates than my other channels. And D&D is still like a game too. It's just like it's not like a traditional game. And there's like more product to be sold with D&D. Mr. Beats gets 75 per 1,000 views. No f way. No wonder he's a billionaire. Made time? All right, here you go. <gasps> hey, you guys want to hear a cool sound clip? I think Logs is okay. I almost said the c word. I almost called him cool, but then he's gonna he's gonna f he's gonna feel so happy if I call him cool. So I think he's aight. He's like mid, right? <laughs> Imagine your CPM if you didn't stream with Miwa Bell. No, like my CPM is fine. That's just like kind of the CPM for for gaming channels. It's kind of garbage. So like my Yu-Gi-Oh channel gets around three million views a month. Um. I would say 60 to 70% of those are monetized views, and I get around 12 to $15 per 1,000 monetized views. So I guess you can do the math on your own. It's all about views. You want as much views as possible, specifically monetized views, specifically monetized views with videos over 8 minutes long so you can get those pre-roll ads. And no, those mid-roll ads, excuse me, not pre-roll ads. I'm an absolute buffoon moron. I said the wrong word. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Logs is probably on the high end of Yu-Gi-Oh views. I have the data. I am the second most viewed Yu-Gi-Oh channel for the month of December, second behind Team Samurai X, one. So like my views are very good. Hmm. And if you do all generated monsters become that level until the end of the turn. <gasps> what? Well, that's cool. Really? Seriously? Have you seen the D&D &D dice that have dragons in them? I want them so bad that I have interesting dice. I bought some D&D &D dice that have spiders in them. I think I took a picture of them and put them on my secret Twitter if you want to see them and you know about my secret Twitter. <laughs> How much you're roughly on par with Decayed? Decayed is the fifth most watched Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel for the month of December. Tied with Decayed, you guys um overestimate his YouTube channel. He's very big on Twitch, that's for sure. But Twitch doesn't always generate over to YouTube. <gasps> my card opponent controls, banish one Gemini monster control, and is treated as an effect monster this turn. Let's see here. Oh, I can go into Dingursu, the Orcist of the Evening Star, to get rid of some of his sh <laughs> So, if I've been gone from the game for a couple of years, what did you do to return? Asking for a friend? Uh, you should play Labyrinth, they're fun. Yeah, he is big. He is big. Like, you know, if you take, like, the combined like stock the meat of youtube and twitch stuff he's he's definitely doing well for himself i'd have to assume with his channels and everything he makes at least as much as i do rip a bozo what about farfa farfa let's see here i'm number two three four five six seven eight farfa is number eight for the month of december right behind team aps and simo alistair the invoker what about DZF and TGS? Um, I don't have their stats up. Generally, they're not really in the top. I think they're general. I think they might be in the top ten. I just don't have their stats up because they're generally not like you know as high as uh, Farfas, for example. Like they do well, but they don't do like you know Farfa well. I'd imagine Dzif, he probably is. Like, I, I have like all these stats set up from like a year ago. Dzif's been doing a lot. He's been doing really well with the release of Master Duel. He's probably easily in the top 10. Distant Coder, Distant Coder does really well. Distant Coder is currently number four in most uh, views for his YouTube channel in the month of December. He's right behind MBT. Dude, MBT sometimes beats me. Like MBT's channel is a beast. The only reason I'm above MBT is because I also started doing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> shorts are redonkulous. None of my shorts have less than a hundred thousand views. 
What about Stevie? I don't think Stevie even beats my Pokemon channel, to be honest. Which is my newest one. You guys want me to check? I think Amity started doing some real shorts get promoted so much. Yeah, because like, um, whatchamacallit, on my stats it showed, it was showing like MBT was like, you know, passing me in views. And I was like, what the hell happened? So I took a look at everybody and I was like, oh, they've all been starting posting shorts contents. I gotta do that too. And I did. And then I shot back up to second place again. <laughs> How about Team APS? Team APS, they're right above Farfa and right below SEMO. Uh, like these are all the big, the big ones, the big content creators, you know, plus, uh, what does it call it? Anime TCA at TCS. I forget his name. DZF Anime TCG. Can I normal some of this? Target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Do I have any? Oh, I do have a Gemini monster in the graveyard. Can you please stop talking? I need to sleep. No, shut the hell up. Banish this card. Select a card on the field to destroy. I need to destroy this one. The Cali effect? I don't think the Cali effect is up there. The Cybernite McCall actually talked to him on Facebook recently. Talked to Old Nova and Ame stream recently. Um, I do know of them. I've never talked to them before. TGS anime. Yeah, that's TGS. TGS does really well too. I wouldn't be surprised if TGS was in the top 10. After this duel, do you want me to look at the stats? You guys seem very interested in the stats. <laughs> Seems that everybody started doing shorts after the Biffing Brit posted about the said shorts exploit. Wait, there's a shorts exploit? I only started doing shorts after like MBT passed me in views and I was like, what is he doing? And I checked, it was like, oh, he's doing shorts. I gotta do those too. I don't watch those stupid ass uh, like YouTube hacking videos. Duologs ASMR where he softly insults you. Not to say his videos are dumb. I, I should probably not say that because I did like his one that he made on like uh, the comments, the, the community page. I'm more bitter towards it because once he makes a video, um, all the YouTubers will then copy him and it's like, oh great, he must have put out a new video recently because everybody's doing what was in his video. I know he's legit. I, I'm, I'm like trying to explain my disdain for the videos. It's not because of him or his videos. It's because of all the goddamn sheep who do exactly what his video says as soon as he posts a video. And it's like, oh my goodness gracious, think for yourself for once. What about DP? Here, I'll look at all the stats after this. is True Gamer Sam. Oh yeah, and Sam also does shorts too. That's why he keeps his like number one place. Damn it, stop milling my deck, you stupid- <laughs> Runic Fountain, Feather Duster Banished. Am I playing fan? I don't need Feather Duster in this deck. I'm a genius. Runic Flashfire, target one special summon monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Psh, I can just use Din Gursu to protect himself. You absolute buffoon. I don't know where Sam gets all the energy. He probably just like has the energy IRL. The shorts exploit was a long time ago where shorts first released, not the really thing anymore. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Sam is cringy, but I still enjoy his videos unironically. I don't really watch other YouTuber videos, to be honest. I don't really have time for it. The videos I watch most are generally like, you know, the really small channels that just post deck profiles. <laughs> Cause like, that's what I want to watch are deck profiles. Isn't the top YouTuber moist? He's not a YouTuber though. Activate Poly Chem Critter to pop Runic Fountain. Skill Drain. <gasps> I should be able to have his effect resolve if I burn out. Get him off the field. Have you seen ChatGP create a script for Sam's video? No. Can it create scripts for me? I would love it if I could get free scripts. That would be a dream come true. Skill drain. Ha ha ha. You still lose Runic Fountain, idiot. Idiot moron. Do do do. It's a good thing he's not playing Gozen match. And or rivalry of the warlords. Otherwise, I might be ham-boned. Runic Slumber, target one face-up monster, the next time it would be destroyed, it's not destroyed. All right, summon a card from the extra deck. Banish a card from the top of my deck. But Charlie has Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in his streaming room. <gasps> True. Um, Charlie is more of a, a drama VTuber, not VTuber, YouTuber than he is a Yu-Gi-Oh one. He's, he's just like a, a drama channel that occasionally makes Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Have you thought about a collab? I don't do collabs anymore. I hate collabs. I'm never doing a collab ever again. Hmm. Let's bring out the crab. Okay. Um. Attack with this one. Into Alistair the Invoker. Charlie does not count. He hasn't made you give in forever. And then we attack this. I miss Millennium Air. Me too. Maybe try to figure out Chat GPT. Use Clickbait for Tab for three videos. That could be fun. Flips over Gozen. Could you imagine? I know, right? Cringe. Okay, we put this card down. Oh, I can get 
tri-brigade kit on the field and then use them to go into underworld goddess which does literally nothing so let's go into this card instead when is aqua meowie gonna be on the game show aqua meowie doesn't play Yu-Gi-Oh, so she can't be on the game shows the new player game show is pretty fun though it is but i kind of need them to have some Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge you should teach her? I should teach her, but like, you know, if I was friends with someone who played, oh, I don't know, Vanguard, for example, I'm not super interested in Vanguard. I don't care if they play it. I don't really want to play the game. You know, just because I play something and you guys all play something doesn't mean everybody else wants to play it. I should say, she hasn't shown complete dislack of interest, but generally it's not my first thought process to teach someone the game. It rarely ever crosses my mind. I don't really care if other people I hang out with share any of my hobbies. Don't force anyone to play stuff? Yeah, I don't generally force people to do anything. I did force my friend to watch Game of Thrones though, but that was it. And she enjoyed it because Game of Thrones is great. Oh, Leo wrote a script for me. Me and Meowie, we're gonna read it tomorrow. It's a, it's a Game of Thrones ASMR script reading. That's what I was talking to Leo with today, setting that up. Is it a thousand attack and defense or is it just a thousand? Oh, it's a thousand attack and defense. <gasps> they said it? You absolute buffoon. Hot chip and BFE. Um, no, me and Leo are gonna do hot chip and, um, hot chip and, uh, hot chip and pilk. <gasps> I can't summon Fractal because of Buddha? this card. Well, whatever. Ooh, it's a dragon, huh? How come I can't normal summon it? You force your channel to not call you VTuber, you VTube space Stider? Nuh-uh. They still call me it anyway. Leave her alone, she'll gladly try if she wants it, but for now she seems to just have particular interest towards children's card game. <coughs> yeah, I know. I'm just trying to tell chat why I have no interest in trying to teach her how to play the game. Do 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 The Bujun is a beast warrior? I know. I don't know why I keep going into the Bujin. I think this um, runic player is ham boned. They weren't expecting my uh, big brain deck to have so many plays. 1900, force your editor to beep out of the videos. What? There can be only one. This guy and this guy. <laughs> he played himself with skill drain, yep. Dude has tried activating monsters three times with his skill drain. Smartest runic player. He was the smartest runic player. Can I see the deck list? Sure. Remember Yu-Gi-Oh stats? Yeah, let's look at some Yu-Gi-Oh stats. You guys seem to love Yu-Gi-Oh stats. 